there is a racist turtle on the loose. There is this viral TikTok of a turtle Tommy and black Air Force One shoes. And when there's white tape on the shoes, Tommy leaves the shoes alone. But once you take off the tape, revealing the black shoes, Tommy goes wild and starts attacking it. And here Tommy goes through a maze of shoes, going past all the white shoes until it sees a grey shoe, thinks of attacking it, but it goes on until it finally sees a black shoe where Tommy channels this inner American cop and goes crazy. So we can't just let the turtle go around attacking innocent black Air Force Ones, but how do we deal with a racist turtle? That's right, the same way Americans deal with any of the problems, guns. Now unfortunately I live in Australia and a country for some weird reason seems to care about keeping people safe so we didn't really have guns here but I was gonna actually shoot a turtle with a real gun anyway instead I'm gonna build my own gun and shoot it with a turtle's worst enemy I see who you are You are my enemy My enemy You are my enemy the plan is simple, I'm going to build a robot that identifies turtles and shoots them with plastic straws. I didn't know it would be so hard to find plastic straws. They're banned here and shops only sell the shitty paper ones. So I resorted in the good old Facebook marketplace and turns out there's a whole black market for plastic straws. And luckily I found a dealer nearby to sell me some bags. Now just for the record, I totally did not use the racist turtle meme as an excuse to build a robot that recognizes turtles and shoots them with plastic straws. Uh, before I get cancelled, this is just a joke. I do not condone any harm towards turtles. No turtles will harm in the making of this video. So my end goal is to have a gun that's sitting on a robot and the robot identifies turtles and the gun can automatically shoot, right? Now keeping that in mind, I studied the engineering behind the gun and- The mechanism here is that it's powered by a spring and the spring contracts when you pull the piston back. It's kind of like a nerf gun when you cock back. So you're cocking back the spring inside and then the trigger, it goes up and then it holds the spring in place. And once you pull the trigger, then the spring shoots out and shooting the straw with it. My 3D print got rejected because apparently the gun looks like a weapon. So I did a redesign and told him that I'm making a hot glue gun and that worked. And here's the gun, we've got the spring right here, the piston which pulls back and it locks in place with the trigger right here. So let's show you how it works. And the idea was that the server motor pulls back the piston and also pulls the triggers for it to shoot. The gun's pretty loud, but the straw when it shoots, it doesn't really go that far and that fast. Now I don't want a gun with record dysfunction, I want a gun that can penetrate the absolute shit out of this turtle. So I'm thinking of a redesign. I guess you could just put a bigger spring in the gun and pull it to go faster, but I think the server mode have a hard time working with that force. So instead I'm taking my inspiration from balls, football. So in football they have these machines that actually eject the balls very fast, and what it is is two motors that spin opposite directions like a wheel. And what that does is it creates enough like force and momentum for the ball to go through and just fucking yeets it across. And we're using the same mechanism with our straws, two spinning discs in opposite directions and the straw goes through and just goes fucking flying like a projector at the turtle. I'm calling this new prototype the Moby Dick because it's absolutely monstrous. It's got the 509000, it's got a gear rack to push the straws in from the mag and the case also looks like a big black cock striking fear in any turtle. Here it is, this is the flywheel and it spins in either direction and it's connected to the motor which allows it to spin at very fast speeds. And I know what you're thinking, no, that is not cum. This is just hot glue that I uh, put because before it was too loose, this is between them, it wasn't gripping the store, but it should grip it very, very strongly now and eat it across. And if I run the code and I just feed it the straw, look at that, boom. This is insane. I wanna see how far I can go. And this is the Moby Dick case in the flesh. Let me show you how everything fits. So we've got a server motor which is powering a gear rack and it pushes the straw inside the flywheel like this and it will go inside. Okay, so I've put everything together. The Moby Dick has been assembled. I've got the server motor right here, which then pushes the ammo which is held by the mag and this white thing and these are the flywheels which will spin. It's connected to the battery and the breadboard and the pie. So let's run the code and please, for love of God, please work. Okay, okay, come on. Come on, come on, please, please. Oh, oh my God, that was so fast, fucking works. Now the Moby Dick should also be fully automatic, meaning it should be able to shoot more than one bullet, 
at a time. As much as I'd love to go around with the Moby Dick and shoot Totus on site, I don't want to get cancelled on my second video. So instead, I want to be able to defend the Black Air Force Ones, channeling that Air Force energy and have it kitted out, pimped out and have it on RC car and have the gun on top of the Black Air Force Ones and have a vision system which basically recognizes this turtle and once it does, it'll be able to shoot on site. But how do you recognize and detect a turtle? So what I plan to do is use Google's machine learning algorithms and be able to train this custom data set of this plushie. Okay, now the code. So I'm using TensorFlow Lite, which is the small package that's able to run on the Raspberry Pi. And the vision system basically captures a video and it breaks the images down like frame by frame and allows TensorFlow to be able to break down that image and run its machine learning algorithm and output what it detected. So it should be running fine. But right now, TensorFlow is using the default package it recognizes common household items like a keyboard or a mouse. But I want to be able to recognize a plushie, a plushie turtle. So what I did was I took a bunch of photos from different angles of the turtle and then I trained this specific data set of images by labeling the turtle and putting turtle on top of it, right? And I fed this into the TensorFlow um, training module and this was able to make a custom package which allows me to detect turtles and shoot on site. So without the custom model, it doesn't really recognize the turtle as a actual turtle plushie. It'll probably just see, call it that person, apple, banana, but nothing actually relevant to turtle. But if we run it with the turtle package, hopefully, hopefully this should detect it as a turtle now. And yes, pro, 98% accuracy. Jesus, holy shit. This is so accurate. This is first time running. Okay, it works, it fucking works, let's go. Let's go. All right, I've pimped out the Black Air Force Ones, gave it some wheels. Now I can do a little bit of drive-wise and fuck up the turtle, all right? Let's go, three, two, one. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. All right, so I've added the gun module to the vision system code. And now whenever it detects a turtle, that string is recognized and it'll add a counter to it. And if it's detected for 10 more frames, which is about two seconds, if a turtle is in the frame for two seconds or more, then it will know when it can shoot. And I haven't tested this out yet, so let's put a bit of um, straws inside. Okay, so there's straws. And if I run this, so until I put this turtle in front of the camera, which is the camera is right here, it's not detecting anything now. But if I put this turtle here and detect it for more than 10 frames, it'll start and it'll shoot. It shoots. Yes, let's go. It shoots. It works. All right, so we've got Jamal, the turtle, and we need to make sure that, you know, he doesn't attack the Black Air Force Ones. And we've got the gun on top of it, it's ready to go. Unfortunately, I couldn't make it fully mobile. It's kind of handicapped with a, with like a power adapter because I tried the batteries, but the server motor was spazzing for some fucking reason. So now we're just gonna have to hold it while we try to move the gun. We've set up a maze for Jamal, and you know, he's gonna go across the maze, but he's not gonna attack the white shoes. He only attacks the Black Air Force Ones, but little does he know that our Black Air Force Ones are strapped, they're pimped out. So let's see how Jamal plays out. All right, Jamal's taking a walk. He sees white shoes, so it doesn't bother. This is another white Air Force One, that's all right. He's taking a walk, a little bit of dirty, at least he's hesitating whether to shoot the <laughs> gray Air Force One, that's all right. He pops into frame of the Black Air Force One, he's going, he's going. Little does he know. Deal. So now it's time for the Black Air Force Ones to fight back and what I'm going to do is have to do a drive-by. This is going to move the car and move the Moby Dick on top of it and it's going to attack. I'm going to record this. Okay, carefully. Finds the turtle. Hopefully it shoots. Okay, let's go, let's go! Alright, fuck it! And in the event where Moby Dick runs out of bullets, the Air Force Ones have a kamikaze and tank mode where it can literally just run the turtle. Direct. Target destroyed. 